A summary of my progress for the intermediate milestone number one for my EduTech project. The project is about my book Hands-On Machine Learning for Algorithmic Trading that is available on uh, by Pact. Um, here it is. Um, that's the Pact website and uh, the book uh, was published uh, last December. It has around uh, 680 pages uh, and is organized in some 20 in four parts with 21 chapters. Uh, it covers uh, on the introductory side um, how to use uh, various um, um, types of financial data from sourcing them, cleaning them, to transforming them into a useful, uh, into useful format that can be used for, for trading, how to think about um, investment strategies, um, design signals or factors, and how to build a portfolio and manage this portfolio. And then at the core of it, uh, in three different parts, covers different aspects from fundamental uh, machine learning uh, techniques to natural language processing and deep and reinforcement learning, uh, different aspects, uh, and introduces machine learning uh, with, uh, you know, with a view to the specific domain of, of trading. So the goal is to be able to predict uh, prices or returns of assets, uh, use those predictions as signals, and build a trading strategy around those signals that hopefully is profitable. This, uh, the book is also uh, accompanied by um, a GitHub repo that contains over 100 uh, notebooks with numerous code examples. And um, the idea for the second edition is to react to some user feedback and also incorporate some of the learnings of the initial research phase, um, which uh, basically ask for two um, novel uh, ingredients here. Uh, the first one is to focus the book more or to add more uh, details of uh, what is called backtesting. So there is the use of machine learning to generate signals and then in the second part you come up with a strategy which means you actually buy and sell assets based on those signals and you want to test how those trading rules would have done in the past. It's called backtesting. And while the book does continue, uh, it does contain uh, some examples, it, it doesn't lay it out in a very sort of systematic uh, way. It doesn't sort of highlight uh, how to do this uh, every time that we introduce a machine learning technique. So the idea is to, to do this more systematically and give the reader sort of a more big picture view on this very important workflow um, aspect. The, uh, the second piece is to add a website that um, will engage users beyond simply posting notebooks, but to add some additional exercises with solutions um, and also add interactive aspects such as, um, such as a, a discussion forum. So progress so far um, has focused on um, uh, pinning down which changes are needed exactly, and I've summarized them in in a spreadsheet here that contains um, the, the 21 uh, chapters. There's a link in, um, in the PDF that, that highlights in yellow which parts of the book will be sort of rewritten or adapted to uh, reflect some of these, these uh, new approaches. Some updates, of course, just needed to kind of keep the material up to date uh, since 9, 10, almost a year has passed since publication. and. Uh, the, uh, and, and the other parts are meant to you know, be either more systematic or use better pedagogical approaches uh, as you know, gained from, from you know, the, this, the research phase at the beginning. The yellow uh, pieces here, they highlight things that will be new. Um, some are new because I, I wanted to introduce a few additional techniques that I didn't have time for at the beginning, such as the use of the Kalman filter, uh, but most importantly, uh, we will be working or uh, adding one big new chapter that is uh, about the strategy workflow, which is this end-to-end -end, um, machine learning with uh, backtesting um, um, approach. And um, many of the other additions will then highlight how to use this in different contexts. For the new chapter, I've um, developed a um, brief kind of uh, schematic outline that highlights how this how the work flows um, in an iterative fashion from you know the basics of selecting uh, data adjusting the data and engineering features to pick machine learning models generate predictions and then use those predictions to on the one hand select which assets to trade how to optimize the holdings across assets and then of course 
do the actual kind of you know tra uh, execution, uh, all of which is happening uh, or is simulated by the backtesting engine. So kind of this slide summarizes the logic of this uh, strategy workflow, and um, the the chapter will be organized accordingly. In preparing this chapter, um, I had to decide which backtesting libraries to use, and the examples in the first edition use a library called Zipline. Now, the good news is that I was able to secure uh, a partner that is going to provide minute data, so we can uh, demonstrate higher frequency or intraday use cases. And um, the downside of that is that the Zipline library doesn't work that well with minute data, so I had to at a second um, a library called Backtrader that's actually a little simpler, um, generally speaking, but uh, is better or more compatible with the use of minute data. So, um, so in that sense, the the, the scope of the um, of the chapter has increased a little bit, uh, but I think in the end it will be for the better for the better um, for the readers because they have there's more to learn. So um, overall, uh, I have tested these two libraries and I have rough code examples that generally work. So uh, I'm going to focus on building these out and actually writing the chapter in, in the coming days. I've also uh, worked on the website that I mentioned initially. So there's going to be this uh, companion website at the domain mlfortrading.io that uh, is going to uh, allow users to create profiles and then provide access to you know sort of cases uh, you know where given specific data sets and specific sort of investment objectives uh, users can develop strategies and uh, look uh, at solutions or uh, you know recommended approaches of, of addressing those and one key learning from the research phase was that it's really helpful if uh, learning is not only interactive but also collaborative so the idea is to also add a discussion forum that allows the reader to engage with other readers that are learning about um, this uh, the subject and you know to exchange about different approaches their solutions and generally what they think so to sort of hope to try to create a, a kind of community of practice around this um, this subject um, and of course there's also going to be a, a library that you know allows the reader to study further and I'll also add a blog that you know allows me to keep adding information, you know, as, as things happen in the market or as the, as the field evolves. Um, overall, I think that is would be doable because I'm probably going to use Django uh, to do this. as I've done that in the past and I'm aware of several modules that allow to generally implement the functionality. So there will be, you know, some additional work around sort of styling and, and uh, designing um, you know, the, the, the side, the front end, but um, generally I think in the next four weeks, uh, you know, there will be a workable uh, prototype uh, available. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I will have much more time to work on this in the coming weeks, so progress should be swifter. And uh, now that kind of this, this, there's a solution uh, as to technically how to implement the back testing with the different data sources, uh, I would expect uh, sort of the, the technical part to move uh, quite uh, swiftly. So that's overall um, where I stand. Um, and, you know, given the, those adjustments, I think I'm overall uh, on track to, uh, you know, have both the second milestone uh, and the, uh, the final piece uh, in, in place. This is generally what I was planning to do. So the next steps are write more ch uh, chapters, code examples, and, you know, start working with uh, getting the, the online website up and running and um, then you know for the final part in the, in the last two to three weeks uh, the goal is to uh, you know really have some sample chapters ready and um, have you know enough on the website to be able to kind of show it off and get more feedback uh, you know uh, the publication of the book is scheduled for for March April so overall there's time so it's not like the whole book is going to be ready by December but the general approach uh, will be visible, so it will be, you know, very helpful to collect feedback on this um, for the finishing touches over the last few months. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you found it informative, and I look forward to any feedback that you may have. Thank you.